Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So uh, index has continued to uh, slide back. Again, the big deal kind of over the over uh, the weekend obviously was the digestion of the reality that we got rejected off the 50-day moving average on Friday. Uh, yesterday, if you watched last night's video, we talked about uh, the first close below the five and the 20-day moving average, which basically led the 10 day, which again is the birth of the trade, kind of the last line of defense before we get literally to the last line of defense. And we, if you watched last night's video, we said, look, if we could confirm uh, the 10 day moving average, we should get a slide into that 284 level. And that's exactly what happened today. You saw the 10 day moving average break that 288 line. It traded into the uh, 284s. And again, if you're a bull, I, again, like I said last night, I wish I could picture, uh, paint you a better picture, but you know, if we get a close tomorrow below uh, 284 on the Qs, I mean, you can see it for yourself. I mean, if you have eyes, you can see it for yourself where your next measure potential is, is all the way to the bottom of this chart here. So the Bulls did, uh, you know, a great job last week. They got there and they're right when they're about to cross the finish line, they just literally dropped. It's like, uh, you ever seen those bloopers when the receiver is, uh, is, is running into the end zone, he starts celebrating and he puts the ball, the ball down right before he crosses the end zone? That's exactly what the Bulls did. Um, you know, again, it kind of reassures us uh, once again, we are still in this bear market until we reclaim the 50-day moving average. It's going to do so. It, it, of course, you're going to see some days that are strong. You're going to see several days that are strong. But the moral of the story is uh, technical analysis is giving you a pretty clear picture of what should happen next. And the next day, what you're doing is just waiting for that confirmation. And that's exactly what we did today here. Um, you know, we had some pivots um, you know, Tesla continues to be really, really good. Uh, today, we saw some pretty aggressive uh, put buying early in the morning uh, in Amazon, a lot of weakness in Amazon. Uh, NLW really uh, set the tone today. Uh, usually it's not a name that I cover or even talk about, but you know, it really left a pretty big dent uh, in the software space. And you know, you, you looked around like 10, 11 o'clock and you're like, wait a minute, is Microsoft really down? You turn around and you're like, is Microsoft really down seven, eight, nine points? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it really is a an incredible ripple of what happens when there is softness and weakness in the sector. And may, even a, maybe a less known name uh, like a NOW might not be you know part of your everyday vocabulary, but all these stocks and all these companies are swimming in the same pool. And when you look at Microsoft for tomorrow, man, this thing is literally right at the bottom of the range here. If this thing gets, you know, if this thing gaps up tomorrow and gets rejected and starts building below this channel here, man, look at the, man, there's like another $12, $13 worth of room to the downside, a lot of room. Tesla, we talked about uh, last night uh, on the video, again, first close below uh, that 10 day moving average really engulfed two days worth of buying. Uh, and today it established a pretty decent range, nicely, you know, the pretty good pivot uh, in the morning, but now you gotta, you know, you got one more day. It's just literally sitting here right above, like hanging on to support. If this thing starts confirming down again, look how much room you have. You have what, 60 points of downsides. Same thing with Amazon, although not as aggressive uh, as maybe some of the point totals that you could possibly get in some other names, just because again, it's 20 times uh, less expensive with 20 times more shares. The point is you're seeing the same amount, you know, the same kind of, you know, the same kind of pattern. I don't want to call it pattern, but kind of the same uh, kind of scenario play out here. And you're seeing that pretty much all through tech, no matter what it is. Uh, the highlight today, and if it wasn't for Boeing today, Boeing was up uh, 10 points today. Then the Dow was down, what, 200 today? If it wasn't for Boeing being up 10, uh, you know, where, where would the Dow be, right? I mean, you know, have, Boeing has a pretty heavy weight on the Dow. So if it wasn't for Boeing being up 10, the Dow wouldn't have been down, you know, up down only 200, it would have been down 500. And obviously the NASDAQ would have been int intensify as well. So that's kind of where we are. And going into tomorrow, you're just, you're just following this organic kind of piece by piece of the puzzle and seeing where we have next. And like I said, a few minutes ago, this is going to be it. I mean, this is for the bulls. This is it. 284, either sink or swim. I mean, we either uh, hold that 284 and start rallying back, reclaiming today's highs, 
or we close below 284 and you know here's your future right the 270 uh, area which was basically the low from June the 16th and that's going to be uh, pretty pretty clean because there's no other support in between 284 uh, and 270 so that's it I mean it, 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 there's, there's certain days you have to think and overthink and play devil's advocates again like we've been saying just in the last several days know your levels right no again if, if you're buying stocks as the Nasdaq is confirming below 284 tomorrow, just saying, it's not the market makers. It's not, you know, it's not algorithms. You're buying stock as the market is technically about to occur damage. As, again, there is no man, you know, with, with, with the vel behind the vel velvet curtain pulling ropes. It, it's it's understanding basic technical analysis. And that's why it was the same thing. It's like somebody going out and screaming, that was the bottom, that was the bottom, bottom that was the bottom. And as they were buying stock, into the 50-day moving average getting rejected on the queue. So again, technical analysis works. It's there to guide you. It's not there to trick you. It's not there to you know put the wool over your eyes. It's there to guide you so you have an opinion that you could live with financially based on information, not based on emotion that we talk about constantly day in and day out. And going into tomorrow's session, yeah, I mean, how, you know, again, how can you not like uh, names coming down? I like Microsoft if it confirms. I like Tesla if it confirms. Uh, NOW, if there's any type of gap up, it's going to get stuffed into supply for a second day move uh, back to the downside. Uh, names, for example, like Amazon, they were coming in short term, 105 puts. You know, I want to watch the, you know, I want to watch this thing to, you know, to the downside tomorrow if this starts uh, taking down today's channel. So this will, you know, some pretty good value for tomorrow. Meta had an inside day. If you guys remember yesterday, uh, had a pretty big move down. There was a big buyer that came today. A buyer came in today with 2,000 of uh, the August 145 puts for $1.5 million worth of premium. It's gonna be probably uh, tagged into cover earnings, but you know, this thing put in an inside day. If this thing confirms uh, the bottom of this channel here for tomorrow, I mean, why can't this thing, you know, go down six, seven, eight, nine points to the bottom of the area here? So we're set up, you know, we're set up here. Look, is, is it possible we rally? And every day was possibly rally. But again, keep this in mind. Stocks moving up is not the same thing as stocks moving higher. For the, for the market to go higher, we need to at least, forget about the 50 day, okay? That's three days ago. We need at least to get above today's highs. Can we do that, right? If we can't do that, we're gonna continue to bleed. You're gonna see continuation uh, of the downside action. And if the leaders start popping, you know, getting, losing their bids, like, you know, Amazon, excuse me, not Amazon, like uh, Apple today was pretty strong. So if Apple starts losing, you know, starts losing its area of strength and all these stocks continue their selling pressure uh, from the previous day's ranges, you're just going to have uh, more bleeding. And again, tomorrow, guys, just keep that number in mind. 284 over, we're okay. 284 and under, not so much. Guys, have a great night. God bless everybody. Sometimes, again, you got to keep it short and sweet. Right, let me just go through the pivots today really, really quickly. just forgot to do that. Uh, Tesla, you know, Tesla, I forgot about today's pivots. Uh, Tesla, again, I, I gave a pretty good, you know, pretty good look on Tesla's game plan. Uh, they came in for the 680, 70, uh, 680 and 670 weekly puts. Uh, 700 was yesterday's low. 696 was July 7th low. Big areas need to confirm. 690. You know, is the pre-market low held three times? You know, it broke below, uh, traded all the way down to 685. Definitely the move of the day. Uh, this one I lost like 40, 40, like 43 cents. Uh, shop uh, weekly, da, 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 30 weeklies came in yesterday. 32 if it builds below can flush. Only went down like 25 cents. Nothing there. On uh, Nvidia 150, 38 if it, if it builds below can flush. Here is Nvidia. Right, so it took out that 50, 38. I uh, traded down into the 148. It's not a big move, right? Not a big move, but again, Square I still like, didn't confirm today. Uh, Meta I still like, didn't confirm today. And I said, hey, just in case if we rally, uh, it came close, but didn't rally uh, into that level there. NVIDIA, next stop. Uh, Tesla, 680, 670 weekly puts. I mean, listen, what are you gonna say? It's such a great stock. Um, really, really good every single day. And I believe that is it right i believe everybody that's it so that's it right also q's lost 288 and traded all the way down to 284 today which we talked about in last night's video and now we're talking about 284 big big level going all the way down for a potential 270 push for the bears that's it that's it guys have a great night god bless stay happy stay smiling stay healthy and i'll see you all tomorrow take care